mikwano ya fejemuri our friends wherever you are ah uh, tube bali za katonda we really thank god so much for you ah uh, njagala okongero baza mu amanyi and i want to continue to encourage you ntwa dembele fanana nga bwe fanana though the situation is like the way it is katonda wa fesi bwa fanana our god is not that way ne katonda wa fe but our god ali wa guru wa buli mbera is above every situation hallelujah Amen. Era to tunuli ya chichi muyaga chichi ye gugamba. And don't look at what this person. Ne tunuli ya ali wa guru wo muyaga. But look at the one who. Era ino busoboze ku muyaga. And yes the ability on the stone. Anga bwe twata andika jozi. Just like we started the other time. Anga twogera ku kigambo echo ku sabiligana mu kisere kifana bwe kiti. Speaking of the word that we should pray for each other in the times like this. Era ku saba kwe tugenda kubanga tusaba. And the prayers we are going to join in. And sababu li muntu mu kitundu jali. I request each and every person at any Okutandi kana oluna ku rwencha. Beginning tomorrow. And bwe mubanga moso buro kukwatagana ababiri. If you can connect the two of you. Oba abasatu. For the three. Nete mwandi suse basatu. But you should the next in three. Mukoze so mu kisagwe kitundu che mulimu. Use the opportunity of the place you are in. Nga mukoze sengudo ze mulimu. As you are using let's say the streets and the roads you are on. Abamu inzo kwe kola mu mulimu nga go sobola kumacha. To some of you you can do a great work. Abamu sobola kubanga osobola mutuntu. That you can manage in the morning and others in the afternoon. Obaka ungezi. For others let's say in the Neche to saba. But what request? Ah uh, kola yo okusaba. Let's get into a prayer. Oko kufuruma nyumba. Moving out of the house. Ah uh, mujukirenti ebanga lyo neri wedde. Remember all the time. Ah uh, tobade mayumba. We have been in the house. Ngatusaba mu mayumba era kisera te kituse tofurume tutwaro obuyinza okuita mu kusaba nga osabira abantu abenjawulo atera nga osabira ebintu byenjawulo mukama afi yesi basibe anjagala okulungamya ku nsonge eno kubanga tukijitandika ncha bole muntu jali at any point you are in hallelujah amen eramo ko saba kuno and in this prayer njagala okirize katonda i want us you to believe god akusoboze sawa kufura ekitundu ku kusaba kuno that the lord enables you and makes you part of this prayer ah chino chetu gendo kokora what we are going to do si chipya is not new chize chibawo mire mo bible is a fe has been happening Oba in our bible, bible. All, all over in the bible hallelujah amen ah uh, ekisera chatu ka ibrahim yali ayine songa jiyali asabira uh, Time came Abraham had the, uh, had the prayer issue. But what exactly happened? You may find that in Genesis chapter 12. And the Lord commanded him to get out of the house. That he can show him some things. Hallelujah. In Genesis chapter 15. The Lord told him get out. And get out that I reveal to you how the is going to be. He revealed to him how his grandchildren are going to be like the stars of the sky. It was moving out of the house. Hallelujah. Today you and me. You're moving out in prayers. God has so many things to reveal to us. God is going to use us in getting power and authority on the places we are on and there are so many things you are going to see you have never seen to some people today you have been moving out in the morning and get back to the evening but in this prayer work we are about to do all we are going to do use the opportunity that you pray to God that he can reveal to you he can reveal to you even the place where you are on now it is. Uga, to some of you could be in the region or the area you are, you are, uh, uh, that prayer drive nga you, are restric- you are restricted from moving up and down but you are going to make a prayer drive e to some areas, to some countries. You know, when you walk around to places which are not gazetted, for you God can use you in a way based on how the area is. Those of you in those nations, you can use parks. 
Are you going and camp out somewhere? When we speak of the parks for us here in Uganda, we understand the old tax park and new tax park, but the other people, the other side, they understand the other parks. Don't move from here and then you go to new park or old park. Hallelujah. Amen. The ones in the before, in Europe and America. They are gazetted Where you can read from. Where you can read If you want to do exercises, you can do I mean. I'm not speaking of new and old taxes. Amen. Uh, we do believe God that God is going to use you. I wanted to show you Abraham. And Abraham had a, a separate. In these prayers we are about to get in. Do you remember when Sodom and Gomorrah was going Bible to be burned? The Bible says he got out. Facing towards, or facing towards He was interceding on behalf of those cities that the Lord started speaking to him. Do you remember that will you destroy a city and yet they are righteous? He did it when he was outside the house, not inside. And even Jesus, we see him many times in the Bible moving out to sometimes on top of the mountain. Do you remember the night of transformation? He was not in the house. Hallelujah. To remember, many followed him. Men like the Batmayas, the way they They got their miracles oh. not in the house but on the way. Hallelujah. Amen. When you look at the man Jonah, Actually, the Lord commanded him to get out and go. Hallelujah. Amen. Briefly, let's get to Jonah oh, chapter 1. Jonah chapter 1, from verses 1. Jonah, Esule, so ka okubakulini yol so ka. Awe chigambo chia mukama, cha jeri yona. Omwana wa amitai, nga cho gelanti. Goloko ka, ogende ni nevi, echivuge chechine no chilangirile. Kubango ubibwa webuli nyebutu se maso gange. Na eyo na nagolo koko kudukile talusisi okuba maso gamu kama. Na serengete yopa nala vechombo nga chigende talusisi. Aunava we impoza, impoza yacho na asava lomu agende na ve talusisi. Ave maso gamu kama. Mukama afu yesi wa zwe. Hallelujah. Bari wa mutume afurumage ni mchibuga chene nevi. He was being sent to go to the city of Nenev. Ne idea natajikiriza. But he did not actually take on the idea. Na ye mukama teyagana kufurumia dokuata. The Lord actually commanded the, the well. Um, um. Which swallowed him that he can take him to where he never wanted to go. Hallelujah. Let's go to Matthew chapter 10. I want us to connect well or clarify more on this prayer. And see what exactly did Jesus do. Matthew chapter 10. Matthew sura kumi olunyiryo lusoka. Mm-hmm. Na itabayigirizwa be 10 ababiri. Mm. Na abawo buyinza ku diamond omubi. Mm. Okumugobanga no ku no kuonyanga endwa de zonna mm. no bunafu bonna. Mm. Abatuma abe 10 ababiri amanyaga abwe gegano. Amanyaga buke genda ku lunyiro kutano. Olunyoro kutano. Mm. Yesu naba tumabo ekumi naba vidi. Naba bulidi danga agamba nti. Mm. Temugenda anga makubo agaba mawanga. Mm-hmm. So temuyingi danga mubibu gabi yaba samalia. Mm. Na ye wakili mugende di endigeza bulezo munyumba isla hili. Mbaba tumye makubo. Siwa wawo. Mm. Waruwa makubo gebata yiko gendamu na gebata tekwa gendamu. 
There are some ways they should get in and others not. The houses were supposed to get in and others not getting in. To us even as we believe that our moving out it is going to help us that we can take our prayers from where it has been made that we take it to different ways as we pray to God. Number one, in his prayers, perhaps you could be with your fellow born again who are praying with on that place. You can even pray for these people name by name. The other time we saw the benefits of praying for and also the benefits of interceding for the places we dwell in. Hallelujah. Pray for them as you put them before God. Today we are in the time because here in Uganda we take things for granted. Ever since I've ever existed, I've never seen people burning themselves to ashes. Because actually they are so overburdened by the situation that they are failing in life. You find a, a child, you find a, a parent getting a person cutting him off the head. Amen. We are in places which are in, in a very difficult We are finding people who are in houses where, where they are planning to kill themselves. Perhaps maybe you cannot do anything. Sometimes you cannot be having the food. But something you can do for them in the time of is to stand on their behalf. You lift them up before God. Most importantly, those ones who are here. Hallelujah. As you use that road, you are going to put it before God that situation of evilness may not be who may not manage to come to pass. We have been teaching deliverance. We say that this way. They are doorways which exit and bring in and others connect them pain, suffering and all situations in a way of pleasing and not pleasing. And that's how we pass through this world. But you can use that authority. The other one can help you as born again. That we take authority of prayer. Think of altars which are being established this time. Today, the, the false prophets are not seated. Sorcerers are not seated. They are doing whatever they do. But others are being done. On the road, actually, you are just seeing physically, but for them, they take them into the spirit. Realm. Let us also walk into that spiritual authority to help you. That you do the spiritual mapping of the place you are in. To help you. For the Lord to open up your eyes and realize and understand what is going on. That you can pray the prayer which is going to enable you to go to victory. The other issue it is going to help you. 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 To Sometimes we may not think that we are there. But there is the grace which is going to fall on you. Because you are going to find if you are doing it in the morning, you will find the, the groups of people who are going to find in the Let's say in the afternoon and evening. There is a prayer God is going to put upon your heart. And is going to bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We spoke of that last week. The benefits we get out of praying for our bodies and the places we are in. Hallelujah. The other issue I want us to look at 
as you pray pwaro ichisere cho kusabide kanisa ina dragwa member wa wa chitinda kushan fellowship take the time you member of kcf to pray for chitinda kushan fellowship jisabide Pray for Sabira abasumba na abawereza bonna. Pray for the pastors and all ministers. Kumange kanisa jetugenda okudda mu kuyingira mu. Because the church we are about to get in. Egendo kumange gulawo. The church is, which is going to open. Siye kanisa joba domanyi. It is not the usual church you have been knowing. Aburuganda. Brethren. Obadde mu kanisa teri koka kwa kulizo. You have been in a church which has which Ogenda no kuma okuyingira mu kanisa liko kwa kulizo. Now by the time they reopen the churches there are going to be conditions attached on churches. Mukama afu yesi bazwe haleluya oizo kosangati e kanisa je watu je watu wa you may even find that the church they are giving us oruvanywa rwembere eno after the situation si e kanisa it is not the church eriye sinza katonda mu moyo ne mazima which worships god in the si e kanisa e sinza katonda nga yetadde it is not a free church with its freedom kubanga njagalo kutegeza I want to tell you Motusabire, pray for us that the Lord grants us wisdom, that he enables us that we lead you into this church in the way which will not cause us problems katuloze, us. Let's see. you have taken time without seeing your pastors you will not be permitted to reach your pastors Kubanga, Okuva okuva kuchituti wendi from the pulpit okutu okutuka ku entebe esoka to the first line of the chair wate kwa futi 10 there must be 10 feet okuva kuoyo asoka from the first person okudda kwa nadda ko zija kwa futi nya to the next person you are going to be 4 feet uraba wao Ndoza mu oyina oyina abana you have children orwalero a bonobo ozena abana if i told you come with children tokenda kungana nafe you will not fellowship ogenda kugenda mu sunday school you will sit in sunday school with your with your daughter or son kati sima nyono bango werekedde mwana i don't know maybe you will be escorting your daughter obonobo ono bango ze kusaba oh you love come to pray kati chetugamba okutusabira what we are telling you to pray kanisa yo and praying for the body of christ ne kanisa ngomubiri gwa kristo to pray for the body of christ chetuka kati chetuka katako fenna it is our full response kubanga because bo tunulira ebimu kubye kunnyonyola when you look at what i'm explaining to you being is mu bwongo bwe sawa zino put them into your mind nga oje ogenda mu kanisa as you come to church ogenda kuita mu mo gadgets zenja uro you pass through different gadgets ah uh, oyina kuwebwe namba must be given a number singa o a number ye kuwebwa na waita wedda kikabiri nga tonaba tonaba kujja if that number is given to you and then passed 20 minutes on you are not right, you will not be permitted to get into church even when you are so much filled up in the spirit you will not be permitted to get back to another service mukama afu yesi bazwe haleluya era e kanisa jo gendo koma okuyingira mu and the church you are about to come back to get in muino kujira wa mu mwenna You have to come all of you together. Muture wamu. You sit together in the church. Mwe era mwe 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 buze ngabwe mwaze. That you greet yourself the way you have come. Era mufurume ngabwe mwaze. There are after you exit the church the way you came. Mukama afu yesi bazwe. Hallelujah. Era bono wango yagalo kubuza ku pastor wo. And if you do wish to greet your pastor, oja kuyimusanga muyimusa mukono nga nkulenge de musumba nkuwagara nyo wera ba dizizeye wafe. These songs of saying that love yo we chiri ekirungi, those ones are no longer going to happen. You have to raise up your hand and say hi to my pastor. Neyo kuwagara kwa fo kumanyi bwe kofanana. You know how our, our love the way it is. Kati being to see yangu, now things are not easy. E kan so e kanisa the church a chuse 
has changed or the church is going to change from the other former church to the church which is yet to, to open up or you have never seen and the church you have never expected that the church can actually be like that before you get into this church I am asking of you take the time of prayer pray to God in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and in this prayer when we carry it on it will be on 24th up to 30th we shall wind up this month with prayers and fasting from 24th up to 30th we shall be praying as we fast because we want to seek God and life. the life which has many questions but with less answers perhaps maybe it is only God who has given us the answer uh, Samuel Chisoka First Samuel, First Samuel chapter 28 from verses 1. Samuel echisoka esule ya bilimo munana olunyiri olusoka. Auratu kamuna kwezu abafili suti ne bakunganyize jeli yawe entalo okulwana ne Israeli. Hmm. Akisinagamba Daudi nti tegerera dalala ngo litabala nange mujje. We never said Jabo. Daudi Nagamba Axinti, Cholivo Tegero Muduo, Bialicola. Rocksatu, do our eat it all. Our Samuel Yalia food day, Nay Slady and Navaliba Mukavi day. Never Muzik and Lama, Muchibuga Che ye. Ela Saulo Yalia J. Munsi, Ababali came is Zimunaba Fumo. Our Philly suit in Nivacungana, Nivagia, Nivasis the Sunim. Awo Saulo na kunganya Israeli yonna ne basisi la kugiriboa. Awo Saulo bwe yalabe jeli aba Filisuti natia omoyo gwe ne gukankana nnyo. Awo Saulo bwe yabuza mukama, mukama nata mwanukula ne wankubadde mu biroto, ne wankubadde mu yulimu, ne wankubadde mu banabi. Awo Saulo nalyo kagamba abaddu benti munonyezo mukaza aliko muzimu ngende jali mu buzi. Mukama afese bazwe. I want you to look at what happened there. A man who had hated witchcraft and sorcery. The man who was against all sorcerers. Time came, things went wrong. And he found himself that he had no answer na, from yebuza, God. Na, na and he went to inquire of the Lord. And there was no answer. But remember, Samuel, Samuel, he was the one inquiring of the Lord. And the Lord spoke Samuel to Samuel. Samuel. And Samuel spoke to Saul. During that Samuel time, afude, Samuel had died. Samuel, and the death of Samuel, it caused God to leave Israel. Saulo, because Saul, he had seen, you remember in chapter Agaj. they told him to go and fight. He did not do the will of God, but he did the will of people. That one meant that he, he, he disobeyed God. The other time we saw the hand of God, the hand of God lifted him. It does not only work on the other side. It does not only make miracles, but can also burden life. The Bible says, Saul inquired of the Lord and he, he did not get the answer. Even though in Elimu, and even in prophecy, and also in prophecies, he never had answers. But thanks be to the Lord today, we got the spirit of the Lord. 
is not on some people. In Joel chapter 2 verses 28 he said he was promised that we see him on the Pentecostal day that the spirit of the Lord goes on those with the flesh from the young and the old all of them share the spirit of the Lord Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 34 when we promised us at each 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 and every person will not need a person to require. Do yourself, you can go before God and ask him. Because they left us the spirit of the Lord. Who can speak to our lives? Not on his behalf. Speaking on the behalf of the Father and the Son. And he can help you to tell you what you're supposed to do, what you should know, and how you should carry on your Life. And what exactly should be? Hallelujah. That he can reveal to you great and mighty things you don't know. What you have never expected. And these are the things which hurt life. And they are the things which are hindering us to change. There is nothing like dangerous when we spend years in church. But the years of church have not changed anything in our lives. If we get back, let's say, in the congregation, I would give you the opportunity of three to four people. Ask that person for how long have you gotten saved. But the times of this person getting saved, and how actually are they some up measured or equivalent to what this person is seeing in life. The problem we are finding people just get saved. But changing all the transformation they leave it behind. They who got saved they have not managed that they want to change their lives. You find a person's life has not changed because of their characters which are not godly. Hallelujah. You find that even what God would do in so many people's lives. Surely that he has not failed. He doesn't fail, but he has he has not managed to, to handle some people. Why? Because God is waiting for you. He speaks in Revelation 3. Is at the door every at the door of your change. You give him the opportunity that you surrender what you surrender. To the majority, you continue to lock up. Hallelujah. You find a pastor. He counts years and years of getting saved. But the changing, all the transformation in that person's life is not in the difference. Just only change the address where he was and got a new address. But the actions and the character of the old address are the ones working in the new address. But as a person, you can even get to God and say, Lord, I got saved. Why am I not changing? And yet there is all the ability for that to change. But my changing did not come Z- to pass. I remember one time I preached People are the mirrors God put for us. Because for us we don't know ourselves. And let me tell you, you know yourself as the best person. And you can even you can even testify that others are bad. You can even tell that you have no problem. The other ones are the ones with the problem.